Hey YouTube, so I am going to show you how to create this really simple style on locks. My locks are almost a year old, but they're still pretty short. So this is a great style for short locks, starter locks, or even if you have longer locks, you can do this style and just modify it accordingly. Um, I will say before we get started, remember that I combed out two locks in the back. So um because of my undercut so don't judge my little bantu knots back there okay just pretend like they're twists and they're in the style right deal is that fair um okay this style is done with two strand twists as the foundation i would recommend doing two strand twists because one is a compression style so it's going to help your maintenance or your retwist last longer and it's also going to make your style appear more intricate if you have an odd number of locks the way you can um, still do two strand twists you'll end up with a three strand twist somewhere in your style i would recommend doing it like in the top or in the middle so that you can't really see it because it's likely to be a lot bigger than the other twist um and last but not least you're going to need some hairpins to secure so other than that let's get started i feel like a doll baby or the brat like i just need some little bees on ends like what but anyway <laughs> um so like I said, this is done on two strand twists as your foundation. So you see my hair is all twisted. Um, you know, just remember to go in the opposite direction of your maintenance so that your twists stay in and don't unravel. Um, really quickly, uh, pro tip, if you have short hair and you cannot, or short locks, and you cannot get a ponytail while you're putting your two strand twists in, all you need is a headband and you put it over your, uh, like you pin up the front, like the front half that you've already done, and then you put your headband on, like so, and then you can, you know, do the back without the front getting in your way in the back. So, pro tip at home, pro tip, right? <laughs> all right, so with this style, all I did, um, because my locks naturally have like a diagonal part, because I have the diamond parting system, I just took them and like you see if I untwist if I twist this way they unravel so I know I have to go this way Doop. and then took this one twisted it like that and you see this is shorter like this is short here but don't worry so it goes over that's just a secure grab this last piece Secure all of that right here. Hairpin. And secure secure it till that it goes into your make this on the other side. Bam. Short lock here. Um, because it's not obvious not long enough to go in there, but you see this hole right there? I'm just gonna go in there like so. So that's in, it's in that hole. If you are if you don't have a hole right there, or if your locks may be shorter, what you can do is take your smaller locks from your edges and put them inside of the twist. So um, where you have like a two strand twist over here, you just put that end in between the twist. I hope that makes sense. All right, um, next section, we're gonna take this guy over here, see that? keeps it twisted that unravels so I know go this way twist over like so where are we and then bring that around here and you see it's like almost done and we're going so we take the twist and go the opposite direction to secure like so Bam. And so this last one that we're bringing over that's securing everything goes right there. And so that's the one you pin. This is how you use a minimal amount of pins. You only pin down the last one that is securing your style. And you have the last little one here. I'm going to put it kind of in the same spot as before. 
through a hole so that's secure so now we have the foundation like this is really the gist of the style right because again the locks are short so in the back all we want to do is like the ones that are dangling i only have a couple because my locks are thick but if you have a lot all you're doing is pinning them up like this well that's all i i did for this style so um let me show you the back again don't judge my little baby bantus okay don't judge them So again, just pulling these up. There's one, there's two, three, and then you can again try to overlap as much as you can so you only have a little bit to secure. Oh, it's not staying. Alright, so I'm going to secure these first couple, hopefully with one. Bobby pin. Okay. Now get the last couple up. And you do your best not to pierce through a lock. Like you want to make the opening of your bobby pin. This, see how it opens? You want your lock to be in the middle of that. You don't want the ends to go through your lock as much as you can try to prevent that so you don't get holes and cause weakness in your locks all right I have one left and it's really short so I just stuck it inside of another one <laughs> 